Hello everyone and welcome to this next Coptic lesson. So here in this lesson we've got this paragraph. Because it's a lot of text, I split it up into two parts. So uh, I'm going to go over them separately. So if you like, you can read them separately as well. But if you prefer to read it all at once, uh, that's up to you. I just thought it might be more simple for everyone uh, if it was split up. Okay, so now I'm going to pause the video, uh, read just this first part, or if you like, you can read the second part as well. Uh, so yeah, do that now. Okay, so now that you've read that first part, uh, I'm going to go over it now. So this first word is doxa. Uh, remember, this uh, letter here, the delta, uh, it's commonly thought to be a D sound, but it's more of a TH type of sound. So then we have doxa. Hatsri K Ayo K Agio Epnevmati. Okay, I think that's pretty simple. No real special rules for the rest of this part. Okay, so now if you haven't already read the part in the blue here, you could pause the video and do that now. Okay. Uh, so this first word, we already saw it twice, it's K, this is NIN, this epsilon here makes sort of a double E slash Y sound. Uh, then we have K, A, uh, E, notice the, this A and I looking letter, they're pronounced separately. A, uh, E, K. Estos, remember the O and the Epsilon make a double O sound. E, O, N, A, S, T, O, N, E, O, N, O, N. Okay, and the meaning for this paragraph here is glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Uh, and this paragraph is found uh, in many places, in the liturgy, in Vespers, uh, just all over the place. So it's very common and something good, very good to know and to be able to recognize. 